I'm not sure that I can make much of a case for why you'd want to convert a clip-on guitar tuner to a microphone one, creating more potential for audio interference that wasn't there before with a piezo transducer detecting vibration. I just don't like clipping them to guitar headstocks. Unlike the piezo transducer, the condenser mic can't produce current on its own. Luckily, there's already an LM358 op amp so all we need to do is add a little circuit that can modulate the DC current. If we take the positive supply rail from pin 8 of the op amp, we'll get a pin that is switched with the power switching of the device itself. So the microphone won't be able to drain the battery by conducting current straight to ground. The little connection up the top here, Vibe 1, was made to the original vibration sensor, the piezo element, and that leads off to the 104 capacitor. You can see the little blue capacitor on this additional circuit board here. The green wires go directly from what was the power button to a new power button that I can access. A power supply is taken from the battery terminals to some new batteries that I've installed on the new board. And the rest of that little circuit made up of just three parts is installed on the new proto board. Uh... <laughs> Since I'm holding a phone here, I'm going to try and pick with the same hand. Well, that's an E string. The bottom E string. Or was it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's pretty spot on. I'm talking, so I'm sure I'm screwing it up. Oh! <laughs> It does work from reasonably far away, but um, I don't really think I'll use this. It's too much of a mess. Um, I might just look for an old Korg TM60 and call it a day. Um, I've got a spare one of these, so yeah, it wasn't really much of a sacrifice letting one go to experimentation.